UK right. and rocks. The beer can white does rock, especially the Italian show on Sunday. That's it. And they turn the music up, and then I have to turn it down so we don't get feedback. It's all part of the fun. So we got a little uh, sausage and peppers, and this is the ingredients that we put in it, minus the uh, the fennel. And I usually put that in the salad. But we got a nice pot full of good stuff, rolls, nice Italian rolls. And we got stuff to give away, and we got our drinks. We give away everything that isn't nailed down. We got the little biscotti in case you can handle the sugar, right, fellas and nonis. But we're gonna talk today with Rick, and uh, we're gonna have fun. We're gonna eat, drink, and be merry here in the Italian show. Rock and roll. All right. I'm on my job. We're having fun every day, but on Sunday we have extra fun and we get to eat and talk with our hands. <laughs> That's what we do. We munch. I'm gonna break open one of these. You want a sweet tea or green tea? You have a preference? Oh, a green tea sounds good to me. Alright. Yeah, we usually share with our audience. We give the stuff away later. And they get to eat and drink what we're eating and drinking. So I Give them cheers. A salute. Salute. We try to uh, not starve the audience out. <laughs> we don't want them to have uh, a bad Sunday afternoon. So do me a favor and crack that. My uh, one-handed operation isn't uh, up to par. So. Grazie. They were classy. We drank our iced tea out of the wine glass. And we make believe it's my love. That's right. It probably looks a lot like it. My uh, buddy Paul would be proud. Paul from the liquor barn. We're saving our heavy drinking for when we get home. That's it. We don't want any run ins out in the parking lot with our sheriff. I got these because of your honey dipper song. <laughs> giving these away. There you go, that's awesome. And we got some other stuff out there. Very nice. Got some hidden hidden surprises. Yeah. All right, Kazerich, and welcome to the Italian show. I'm your host, Frank Gooch. And today in the house, we have Rick Ferrucci. And Rick is from Dead on Arrival, among other things. More recently, you've got the uh, Big Bang Theory. Mm -hmm. And you have uh, Ode to Orpheus, the three different uh, incarnations of your musical talent. All different genres. And I would say world famous drummer because I, I met you not too long ago at the, uh, at the Commons here in Kingston, in uh, historic Midtown Kingston, at the, the tent, Bob's tent. It was a great evening. You're doing a fundraiser for Rainbird mm -hmm. Foundation, and that's for... Um, for Hannah and Jillian trying to um, stem the tie to all the abuse of, of young people, right? Yes. And child abuse. So that, that was that, a that jam it, to end, jam for the end. When Jillian got a hold of me, she said, uh, you know, I have found shit five, or, I don't know, five or six people recommended you. And, um, and she did, you know, she put it out there. I mean, I'm looking for, uh, I'm looking for bands and five or six people recommended Big Bang Theory. Well, I, I was amazed at the collection of talent. You, you yourself are fun and you have tremendous uh, drumming ability, but your band is awesome. Thank you. Every single person in it, Dave and, uh, and Sal. Sal. Yeah, I have to tell you, I handpick my musicians. I just won't play with anybody in a project of mine. Everybody on every album, everybody that uh, ever performs with me under the name Rick Ferrucci Presents, it's got to be, in my eyes, better than me. Well, they're an amazing collection and uh, tremendous talent. Sal's voice is amazing. Yes. Dave's no guitar playing is unparalleled in the field, and that, and your your uh, your drumming skills are awesome. And 
They call you the Rhin Rhino. Rock and Rhino. Rock and Rhino. Tommy D. Because you're so petite. Yes. Tommy D. From Dead on Arrival on the Alive and Kicking album. He was, uh, and, you know, I just reunited with him uh, as far as uh, you know socializing because, uh, you know, we both got busy over the years and and uh, we found I found a little time. I said, let me give him a call, see what's going on. <laughs> he came up with the Rock and Rhino. And I wear my ponytail like this, but I, there was a time, as a joke, I put a bunch of ponytail holders and I had it sticking straight up like, like a horn. Yeah, like a horn. I did it because, you know, I just wanted to, I just, well, it started out as a joke. And then uh, one of the guys in the band, it could have been Adam, who was the guitarist on that album, or, or, or um, it could have one of the guys, they said, you're not going to wear your hair like that out, are you? <laughs> Why not? So I said, whatever. I just started wearing it out. No, because I'm pretty daring that way. And Tommy started announcing me, the Rock and Rhino. I'm nice. drum is the Rock and Rhino. You know, and and uh, he did it in in, in a lot on the Alive and Kicking video. We were doing a play the Delaware on the river, and we were headlining a show there. And uh, it was an outdoor concert. It was a, it was probably a, one of our first greatest shows that we did and uh tommy's running around the, running around off the jumping off the stage like a nut he's running because tommy he's he's he's, he's uh, uh kung fu nice and uh you know he's up there in the belt you know so uh you know his moves were very precise his singing timing was very precise everything he did on that live show so i said you know what i gotta even though it's not a great video and it was taken with a a crappy camera you know what i'm gonna release this video it was fun yeah so then when we got to the drum solo of honey Depper, he says the rock and rhino rick Perusi. you know that's how all that started that was cool I, I enjoyed it and i've been watching i've been listening you have a lot to listen to yes i was listening to it and i say wow there's no end you've been on several albums you're playing all over the place and now you've got this great band doing covers and playing your own original music yeah so that's kind of unique having a band that can do both and members of dead on arrival well, they're, cover they're covering dead on arrival it was kind of like uh i don't know it was either dave i think dave said um you know we should cover some dead on arrival stuff you know because you're from dead on arrival just as well you're i was involved with the band you know Sal's the bass player for the band, and Sal said, I'd love to sing it. You know, he says, I'll learn it. So, and that's, that's how we started doing that. We're playing Honey Dipper, and we play Dead on Arrival's version of Keep Me Hanging On, which was uh, actually my tribute to the Vanilla Fudge, even though the Supremes were one of the first ones to do it. Holland, Holland, and Dozier had written a song. So I rearranged it and made it more like like heavy metal classical, like like. I felt when I play that song, I feel like I'm in a symphony orchestra. Da, 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 you know. Well, you had a big sound. I noticed the three-piece does not sound like a three-piece band. It's awesome. Yes. And you me. mentioned you had some tricks up your sleeve, but of course you bring the world's largest drum set. <laughs> That's my small kit. And it's, yeah, That's you mentioned it. I, I was, uh, yeah. you know, impressed. You see with if the I small show kit. You my, I'm afraid see, of the. I'll the, see if I can show you my big, kit. my big kit. The big my, kit. My I mean, you have more drums than that than most music stores. My the, yeah, my drums are, are are all specific to how I want to sound. Even my smaller Gretsch that you had seen at that uh, at the benefit. That's my small venue kit. And to a Your lot of small people, venue kit, they play in the circus tent in front of ten thousand people. <laughs> yeah, I love it. it. It's a it's a it is a big kit. You know, big com kit. compared to. Uh, all the like the drummers and all the bands before me. No, forget about it. They were toys. They looked like they, Those, were, they, they were, were toys to me. Yeah, as much as I love them, and even some of the guys like um, from of the Atlas. Not the not the drummers were drummers, toys. but they're you know they're <laughs> building their own repertoire, their own sound, and their own investment. Right, the equipment is not inexpensive by any means. I know you have some of the best equipment. Yeah, I, I spend a, I spend a lot on. Uh, on, on, I spend a lot on, on my symbols band. are yeah the sim right. symbols are all special custom made the hi hat symbols were 16 inches I had Sabian 
specifically make them for me. And I'm, I'm talking to a company now, I think I'm going to have 18 inch, 18 inch symbols made. Mm. Here, you'll in get case a, you're just tuning in now, you'll, you'll get a kick out of this. Rick Ferrucci from Dead on Arrival and Big Bang Theory. Yes. That's pretty funny. It's only as good as your drummer. <laughs> your band is only yeah, your band is only as good as your drummer. And that's a fact. And then I, I have my, my web address there. Nice. That's my big kit. This is a custom built kit. And uh, I had the shells made specific to my specifications. Then they were all steam bent and, and uh, epoxied and layered to the amount of layers I wanted. Amazing. I, I got all the shells bare. And then I took a, um, uh, a router and I did all my burying edges, which is a secret. I will never tell anybody right, the right. amount of degrees I That's use. That's right. Because it's to not like down. Gretsch or Drum Workshop or Pearl or Tam. I have a special way that I uh, created my burying edges. Right. So if you were to divulge this, it would be, uh, you know, not Well, good. people would know what I do. Right. You know? Yeah, it's a secret. So that gives there's, you a there's sound. There's another picture of, awesome, of myself, awesome you know, with my big kit, you know. I think people need to go online and check you out. They can... Look at now, uh, 39 and a half years of uh, history playing. I'm teasing you. It's actually more. You have more experience than uh, the years I've been alive. Well, you know, I, I, uh, I just love what I do. And here's a picture of me with my Gretsch at a festival. That's, that's the Gretsch kit. Nice. So you were teasing Dave about his black guitar. Does he ever tease you about your, uh, your red drums, blue drums? Or? No, he doesn't. Those guys kind of just give me free reign to do what I want to do because they know I'm a spoiled brat and I'll cry if I don't get my way. Nice. Well, I, I'm glad it doesn't come across in your music. The music's great. And I encourage people to go online. How can they find you? Facebook? Facebook.com. Drummer Rick Ferrucci. Okay. Facebook www.facebook.com slash right. drummer Rick Ferruzzi. Beautiful. And then, of course, you have a presence on YouTube. Yes. And you have other social media outlets. I'm sure you can be found. If they Google you, they'll find you. And you're a local. I call you local. You're from Middletown, right? Yes. Just down the street. There's, there's the beauty. About of, an hour away. There's the beauty of my big drum kit right there. That's the custom built kit. The Gretsch is tiny compared to this, actually. Well, you, you know, tiny, it takes four men and a boy to carry it in and set it up <laughs> in less than an hour. I know you were the, the yeah. final act. They saved the best for last, right? Twelve, <laughs> well, twelve I, acts I ahead so. of you. And you guys were uh, amazing. People <laughs> had a, a third win, second or third win. They were dancing until they couldn't stand up anymore. We, Until like after midnight. We have we have the persona, uh, and we project ourselves the same way Led Zeppelin did on stage, you know, with that type of big, uh, big picturesque. Uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, very dramatic, suspenseful. You know, and and it's like it's it's like watching a, a good movie because we're very animated. We play our butts off. Believe me, when I get behind that drum kit, I transform into drummer Rick Ferrucci. Well, it's it's noticeable, and you certainly have the stage presence. My God, I you, don't live that way. You know, you're I, you're I, you're uh, walk, an animal. Walking, thank you. Walking on the street, I, I'm just an average Joe like anybody else. You know, and and, and like I said, I I transform. You know, I'm a very humble, modest person. I, I don't go out much. I stay home a lot. And, Practicing uh, drums. <laughs> well, at least thinking about it. Yeah. Well, not only that, but then, of course, you mentioned the famous uh, people we might know, our audience, uh, Buddy Rich and uh, a few others that influenced you Gene early Krupa, on. Gene, Gene Krupa, Krupa. Uh, Louis Belson. Louis Belson uh, was probably one of my bigger influences. And I have to say, uh, in that's in jazz. It was Buddy Rich, Gene Krupa, and Louis Belson was probably uh, my uh, uh, biggest later on uh, influences. Buddy Rich was my first, of course. Then I, I, I noticed uh, um, Gene Krupa in a movie, and I started studying him, you know, buying his albums. And then I was uh, 
you know, the bands he was with, the big bands he was with, and then Louis Belson, you know, um, he, he had double bass, he used two bass drums. I never did. I used double pedal mm. with two beaters on one bass drum because I didn't like the sound and I didn't want to deal with tuning two bass drums. And and instead of do 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 do, it's like do 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 do. You know that's nice. how you know it, when you have the, the beater, the two beaters on the one drum, because one's off to the side, and I tune that side a little bit higher, so it's so it's not the same. Do, 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 do. It's like do 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 slightly. Even well, you can yeah. hear it with that. I'm listening to it. I'm saying you know there are things you're doing that other drummers are just not even dreaming about. You know they're not even aware. I'm extremely melodic. You know to me. Melody and playing drums in melody is very important. You know, I play in color, a collage of color, like uh, when you used to see the liquid projection behind uh, Jefferson Airplane, mm -hmm. you know, and you used to see all the colors and Iron Butterfly. I mean, those to me, that, that's creativity. And each color represents a different, um, a, a different mood. A different whether I go into African rhythms, Middle Eastern rhythms, or, or I, I uh, you know I go into uh, Latin rhythms. There's so many different, so many different rhythms that go through my head when I play. It's just like, what do I want to do next? I got well, so much to think. About. That's one thing, reason why I love the drumming is I hang out a lot with the percussion orchestra of Kingston. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's part of the Center for Creative Education, and you mentioned the African rhythms and the very Brazilian rhythms and influences from all around the world that have affected you in your terms of your, your ear for well, drumming. Here's the thing, a lot of those early jazz drummers really, when they soloed, they did African type beats. So like I said, in jazz, my bigger, my biggest influences was Buddy Rich, um, Gene Krupa, and Louis Belson. In rock, I have to say, the one that affected me the most, and, and, and people say, really? Him? What about Bonham? What about this? What about that? I have to tell you, it's Ron Bushy from Iron Butterfly. Affected me. I said, I want a solo like that. I like his cut, I like his cut beat. Because he's not all about the mm -hmm. right hand, like back, and, you know, I do a lot of both now. You know, but uh, that that cut beat to me, shh, do, do, shh, do, shh, do, 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 shh, do, do. you know, and I'm saying to myself, man, that guy is like, he's like a clock. Mm -hmm. He's like he's like a well-oiled machine, and he's just like he's like thunder. Do, shh, do, do. You know, I mean, you could hear the power in his playing, and it and and he just knew how to hit. I talk to Ron Bushy now and then. On, on Facebook, you know, I don't talk to him personally, face to face or anything, but like on a post, I'll say something, he'll answer me back, well, thank you, Rick, you know. <laughs> I let him know he's one of my biggest influences. Well, you have a ton of influences because your sound is definitely yes. unique. Well, and yeah, you got John Bonham, Keith power, Moon, you can play with the best of them. Jerry Edmonton from uh, 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 Steppenwolf. Ian Pace from Deep Purple, Don Brewer from Grand Funk. I'll tell you who they are. All mm -hmm. uh, see, Buddy Miles with uh, the Band of Gypsies. Buddy uh, affected me, and you know, and I said, just, I, I, I love the way he plays funk and, and, and blues, and, and the way he incorporates rock with it all. And then it's um, and and uh, Carl Palmer. Carl Palmer really affected me too, and I got a chance to meet him because a friend of mine. Uh, Bruce, who's his manager, I, I'm friends with him. He says, Rick, you want to come to a show? I was like, I, I, my heart dropped. I said, really? He says, yeah, because he says, come on to the show. And I didn't really expect to meet him. I just thought I was just going to watch a show. He says, stick around. I was going to leave. I'm walking out the door. He says, he says, listen, hang out. He says, give me a minute. And he says, um... I want you to meet Carl. I was like, whoa. you know, to myself, like, whoa, really? One of my biggest influences. This is awesome. So I, Bruce, my friend, waited till everybody had left. Well, a lot of most people. And he says, go, go ahead, Rick. Come on up. Let's go. He says, Carl, this is Rick Ferrucci. He's a really good drummer. 
Nice. <laughs> now when he's, he's telling Carl I'm a really good drunk, I turn, said to him, I said, like one of your drunk kids. I, I said, I said, Carl, I said, no, 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 no. I said, I'm all right, but I want you to know that you were one of my teachers. And I was very influenced by you, and, and uh, I want to thank you nice. for your teachings. I said I said something similar to that anyway. I don't know if that was verbatim, word for word, but and and then uh, Carl never shakes hands with anybody. Never. He fist bumps. Nice. He extended his hand. I extended my hand and I shook his hand gently, of course, because I know. Yeah, that guy. It's it's, it's it's like touching a piece of. Hands. It's like well, you know what it is. It's it's like a, it's like a piece of fine china. You know, the delicate. And so are mine. You know yeah, what I mean? Who would have who would have thought? Well, you know, so many things going on. We want to remind our listening audience you're on the Italian show. Sundays from one to two PM. I'm Frank Gooch and I'm interviewing Rick Ferrusi, one of the most awesome drummers we have and certainly a great neighbor. Thank you very and, much. And uh, the band Big Bang Theory. Oh, awesome. So we got <laughs> cups we're giving away. These we're going to send one home with you. Beautiful. And then uh, we're going to give them away. We've got a ton of stuff to give away. We're going to take a musical break because we want to eat the sausage and peppers. And when we come back, we're going to be talking. We're videotaping, of course. We're available on YouTube, Facebook. Take another one for Dave and, uh, and one for Sal. Beautiful. And uh, then we'll give one away. But we're going to listen to a little Italian music. And we'll be right back. So help yourself. Manja. Manja, bon job. All right, so we're going to get some uh, Italian sausage. There are two different kinds in there. They're primo. And uh, they're in. Just help yourself grab the tongs and make yourself a sub. <laughs> and uh, they're from uh, my buddy Aaron, Aaron Resney. And the, the primo uh, sausage company that he's currently uh, doing some work for. Beautiful. Oh my god. Oh, beautiful. Yeah, see what they look like. We got a little, a uh, couple different flavors. One is the chicken sausage with kale, mm -hmm. and then the sweet Italian sausage with cheese in the sausage. So just wow. knock yourself out. Beautiful. We got the uh, bell peppers in every color in the rainbow. Yes. And, and the red onions. Yeah, we got the white and red onions. We got white and red garlic. Oh, and the wow. garlic festival is today. That's in Socrates, right? The Hudson Valley Garlic Festival. Today's the last day. Starts around 10 in the morning. You want to get there before it's too late. It's only $10 to get in. And don't forget, next week, is the uh, San Gennaro Festival in Sorgates on Partition Street. Thanks to Rocky and the gang at Bella Luna. They're doing a San Gennaro Festival Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. The uh, 7th, 8th, and 9th, I believe. And then the, uh, the Italian Festival here in Kingston. Ulster County Italian American Foundation is doing the Italian festival. How you doing? Come on in. Oh, Have a seat. <laughs> Perfect timing. Monte Gras. How are you, brother? Oh, better We're, even now. Yeah, it's lunchtime. It's always lunchtime. We're gonna make room for you. We make move the nonis. Uh, right biscott. Biscott. Oh. We listen to uh, Italian music in between the breaks so we get a chance to, uh, to make lunch. Now well, you're going to be talking in the mouth there, but that's all right. It's all part of the fun. That's, that's why what, I see that's Italian That's Italians do. That's right. What it's Italian our Sunday dinner. What Italian doesn't talk in his mouth for? That's right. That's why I use your hands so much. Sometimes the influence, it's like you're excellent at talking with your hands because you got the drumming thing going on. Oh, yeah. Yeah, look at that sandwich. Nobody has a sandwich like that. Talk yeah, about I'm on, sausage and I'm on job. You ever go to restaurants and they give you a couple of slivers? It looks like they slice the hot dog <laughs> to add to the lentil soup. It's paper thin. You can read the newspaper, you know, through the sausage. So, and the uh, we grow all the bell peppers and tomatoes and onions and garlic and 
beautiful stuff like eggplant down at the garden. Beautiful. The uh, Center for Creative Education has a community garden and we're growing everything, over a thousand varieties of fruits, vegetables, herbs, nuts, berries, mushrooms, you name it, we grow it. That's beautiful. And we're trying to teach the kids the farm to table movement, teach them how to grow their own before it's uh, too late. We're running out of farmers, right? We are. Fewer than 1% of the uh, Americans work in agriculture. Well, you know what it is? The, the, least... the, 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 the kids don't keep uh, the tradition of the family. Yeah, no money in it. It's a tough gig. All right, welcome back to the Italian Show. I'm your host, Frank Gooch, and we have a couple of good people in the house. Ihor just came in. How you doing? I'm doing really well. How are you, Frank? All right, not bad, not bad. Grab yourself some food. Push I will do that. Yeah, food, that's yourself. what I'm about. I know. Well, that's what the food, Italian Show is about. You know, if, you, if you read the uh, Lincoln Eagle and you look at our ad for the Graziano Tecchio, who is out there just uh, now serving breakfast, lunch, and dinner at the downtown cafe, the second incarnation. He would be here, but he's too busy, and uh, we want people to go down there, lower Broadway on the Strand. You want to go down the hill slowly and look for Dolce, which is Graziano's sister, the bakery and breakfast, uh, lunch, and, and brunch joint. You want to check that out. They're near each other, very close, in fact. Salute. And uh, salute. We're going to have a little drink. We're eating and talking with Rick Ferrucci about drumming. And Big Bang Theory is one of the uh, the most recent bands, right? Rick Ferrucci's yes. we started about Big a, Bang Theory. Started about a year and a half ago, maybe. Uh, and, and the following uh, grew, in, in you know, uh, unbelievably over the, over that short period of time. Dead on Arrival took years. Well, Dead on Arrival is a wonderful... Um, I would call it heavy metal. It's a little yeah, hard, uh, rock. hard rock, hard, hard rock, heavy yeah. metal, and and uh, our ballads are, are even hard rock, but they're smooth, it's like it's like smooth jazz, you know, like but in rock, of course, you know, rock uh, with a you know in the rock genre. But one thing with uh, uh, Big Bang Theory, it's it's like all out progressive rock. We take a song that's not progressive and we make it progressive rock. You can tell when you listen to it. First of all, all the talented folks who aren't here today, you want to introduce them, Dave sure, and David Sal. David Atkinson, rhythm and lead guitar, Sal Palacetti, lead vocals, and bass guitar. Beautiful. And uh, they're, they're all, all really world class. Yes. Sal's wanna, voice amazes me. He has the voice of a, an 18-year-old. He does. And I want to introduce everybody that's here. Meanwhile, he claims he's 65. This is, yeah, right? <laughs> he, he's collecting Social Security, but he sounds Tommy, like a child. Tommy D is a stage name, the lead vocalist of this band, Dead on Arrival, of this album. Uh, Tom Diana, his stage name is Tommy D. Okay. He did lead vocals on this. Absolutely phenomenal job. Thank you, Tom. The album sales are great. Alive and Kicking is our most famous song. You know what? And, and he was the one that... Uh, uh, introduced it to the public. Nice. That's after, uh, you know recording it well i, I really it. enjoyed it i've been listening to it trying to squeeze adam in fry, all the songs you've got a lot adam fry who's the lead and rhythm guitarist by the way tommy d and adam fry helped me compose a lot of these songs and arrange them and uh, it took my ideas to to uh, new new heights that i could never imagine you know tommy and, and adam they're, they were a huge help in this album you know in creating all their ideas and putting in their ideas so they're uh they were amazing as far as arranging and composing you know they did a great job they did a great performance on this album we performed live shows that were uh, at the paramount theater we, we would draw five six hundred people you know and, and these guys would put on such an amazing performance the bassist uh you know he was uh he was there he did the studio work and and that was it so uh, no need to mention his name. And then over here, on the latest album, who's been uh, this lead singer here, Donald Schickel, Donnie Schickel, right. is the lead vocalist of Dead on Arrival now, the current one. And um, he's a an amazing vocalist too. And like I said, he performs Tommy's songs and he does a good job. He really does a good job. He does it as close as he can and, and, and the average a listener 
won't know the difference. I know the difference. Amazing. Yeah, well, yeah. You Great would, vocalist, you know. you know. And uh, But Tommy, again, mm. can mimic a lot of people, too. They're just, uh, I, I'm, I handpick my musicians. You know, I, I won't play with just anybody in my projects, in my bands. Well, I, I certainly can tell you have talent, and uh, your guys are excellent, and I kind of hope to have them come in not too far into the future and promote. Now you have a gig on Friday the Friday 13th. Friday the 13th in Slate Hill. Slate Hill. At a place called Vibrato's. All right. It's off of Route 6 uh, in, in, uh, in Slate Hill. It's right next to Middletown, getting off to the Middletown exit where Hilly Chevrolet is, that Route 6 uh, going up toward uh, um, West Town and all that stuff. Beautiful. And I'm that's Friday the 13th. Friday and that's the 13th. going to be a great night to have your uh, talent expressed. You know, it's like a uh, you can be loud. You can do your People, thing. That riff place is going to pack. We're giving back. It's a completely free concert. Wow. We're giving back. We're not charging a venue anything. We're not charging our followers anything. And it's completely free. And it's our way of giving back because all the people that supported us throughout this journey to get us to the popularity we're at, I'm giving back. Well, speaking of giving back and popularity and giving, the uh, Savona's Plaza Pizza helps keep us here on the air, right? God bless. And uh, Nick at Dallas Hot Wieners, we want to thank them, right, always. Paul at the Liquor Barn and our folks over at DeBella's, DeBella's Restaurant and Pizzeria on Lucas Avenue. We also want to thank the folks that love hair, Stone Soup, and Master Cuts and Joe Lalima's Barbershop and Joe Jr. over there at the Broadway Arts. And uh, a quick shout out to uh, Danielle and Helena. Of course, we mentioned Graziano Tecchio just opened up his restaurant. And uh, we're having fun. We're eating and we're going to be uh, listening to a little more music. But we're going to give away a bunch of stuff. And the bunch of stuff is the uh, traditional old fashioned fudge recipe, right? We're going to give that to. Uh, the callers, we're going to give away a Big Bang Theory cup, and we're going to give away back to school stuff. We got stuff for the kids now. The organic uh, yogurt melts from Gerber. Why would we do that? Well, Aaron Resney, our supporter, Aaron Resney, photographer, is doing a uh, a nice job photographing the covers of all the Gerber products and the uh, the organic. Yogurt melts we're going to give away as well. Sunmade raisins and the Arizona sweet tea. So we're going to give away a whole bunch of stuff. We have a gift bag to put it in. We're the first two callers are going to get a mixed bag each. And we're going to have you call 845-331-1490 or 1491. The first two callers will win. Every week we give away stuff. If we forget, we try to give away twice as much the next week. And uh, we even have Hall's Honey Cough Drops. And the reason for that is your song, Honey Dipper.